High school students from, across, from all across the Black Belt have been taking pictures and writing, expressing what they feel about what's happening in their communities through art. It's part of a special project that's about to culminate at the University of Alabama. Kristen Law from the Black Belt Community Foundations here, and so is Dr. Heather Pleasance from the University of Alabama. They're going to tell us all about it. Ladies, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for thank having you. us. Absolutely. It is our pleasure. Well, let's talk about this, this special project. How many kids did it involve? We have 41 kids, and they're from all 12 counties that we serve within the Black Belt, and that ranges from Choctaw County up through Pickens County over to Macon and Bullock. And, and they were they were writing and, and, and doing pictures, I guess, that were drawn and maybe doing some photography, too. How did that work? Right. Well, we gave each student a camera, and they were allowed to go back into their communities and take pictures of things that were important to them that represented their community and their culture. Gotcha, super. Right. All right, and so now uh, all of this art that has been generated by these young people, it's, it's coming up here to UA, right? That's right. We're going to have an exhibition opening actually tomorrow afternoon at the Ferguson Center Gallery, and each of the students' work who participated over the past week will have their work exhibited at that gallery opening. And, and some of the students will be there to talk about what they shot and why they shot it and, and, and the story behind it, so to speak, right? Yes, yes sir. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, some of what the folks at home can expect to see. Is there anything so far that's jumped out at you or, or that you saw uh, that's jumped out at you? I mean, just the transition of the students. I mean, they have gone from being very shy. They are afraid to talk about their communities and don't feel that their voice would be taken seriously. And one of the things we're so proud of is giving them a voice, teaching them to use their art to do philanthropy through grassroots action. We are excited because they all are so ready to go back to their communities, gather their friends, and make a change. They have issues that are so important to them in their communities and they want to go back and make a difference. And see that's so unusual to me because the kids now are so social media savvy. Mm -hmm. It's almost nothing for them to you know jump in front of their computer and Skype with a perfect stranger or record a video and, and put it on YouTube mm -hmm. and let a million strangers watch them do their hair or something like that but whenever it comes to talking about something in their community that you know possibly could be pretty relevant they're shy absolutely wow okay well that's something all right and, and let's talk really quickly because we're running out of time uh, the receptions tomorrow uh, and the exhibit opens tomorrow but it's running for a while so if the folks at home want to go see it they've got time correct that's right that's right so both the photographs that have been selected for the exhibition as well as student writing will be featured as a part of that exhibit all right, super. Ladies, we're out of time, but thank you so much for being with us today. Thank, thank you. you so much. The 100 Lenses Reception and Exhibit Opening is tomorrow, June the 14th, at the Ferguson Gallery and East Dining Hall. That's happening at 4 p.m. You can find out more about art at the University of Alabama online at art.ua.edu.